Hi everybody, I'm Jenny from Metamorphit, and I'm going to demonstrate for you tonight um, my no-nonsense circuit workout. My no-nonsense circuit workout consists of nine exercises that are meant to incorporate some cardio and some strength. But all you need is your body, and you don't need any special equipment. Um, so I'm going to show you some options for both the beginner and then, you know, your more traditional person that's already been exercising. So we're going to start with jumping jacks, and we start with 50. So I'm going to show you the low option first, which would be 50 heel jacks. And so basically, it's just one, two, three, four, five, and you'll do 50 of those. When you do your traditional jumping jack, you want to make sure that your heels are touching the ground, okay? Because otherwise you're going to kill your calves and you don't want to hurt your calves right out of the starting gate on the exercise. So again, we would do 50 of these, but I'm only going to do, you know, maybe 10. And jumping jacks are meant to be difficult. They are supposed to spike your heart rate. And so by the end of this first round of 50, you should be breathless, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? Next we have squats. And we have 20 squats. And when you squat, um, you want to make sure that your legs are kind of hip width apart and your toes are pointed slightly out. Not like this, okay? We're not like a penguin. <laughs> slightly out. And when you do your squats, you're not tipping forward like this, okay? You're squatting back like you're sitting in a chair. Ladies, like maybe you're uh, at a concert using the porta potty and you never want to sit down on that seat, okay? And then once you're down in that position, put all the weight into your heels, push up, and squeeze your butt. And so we would do 20 of those. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And I'll stop there. You would do 20 of those. Next, we would have 20 jump squats. And if you don't want to jump, that's fine. You can stick with another round of 20 basic squats. Otherwise, you're going to get into squat position. And when you come up to jump, you're going to use your arms to get some momentum to get you up off the ground a little bit higher. Okay? So you come. One. do 20 of those. Next you have um, alternating lunges. You do 20 each leg. So with your lunge, doesn't matter which leg goes first, put one leg out, one leg back. You want to make sure that you're pushing down into that front heel, okay, because where you want to feel it is in this glute, okay? <laughs> and you come down and you push up. Okay, you want to make sure that your leg, that you're bending in the back, comes parallel, 90 degrees, to the ground. Push. Feel it in that glute. Do 20 on each side. Switch. Now I know a lot of people have bad knees, or if you're overweight like I was when I first started, doing lunges really, really hurt my knees a lot. So <clears throat> an exercise that I did, instead of your traditional lunge, you sit down on my hands and knees, into like a horse stance, <laughs> and you basically just lift your leg up and push. And again, you're gonna feel it in your glute. You can even, if you have a weight at home, tuck a weight behind your knee and squeeze and lift up that way. All right. Next we have my daughter Haley's favorite exercise, which are burpees. Okay. For the beginner, what I like to do is use a piece of furniture that is secure into the ground. It's not going to move on you. Okay, so I'll put the couch here, 
and with the burpee, that way you don't have to go so far down to the ground, but you basically start from this position, shoot your legs out, pull your legs in, jump. Okay? If you don't want to jump, you don't have to jump. You can also just go like this. Okay? It does not have to be something that's too difficult for you. But here's my challenge for you. Don't take the low option because you want to. Take the low option because you have to. Okay? There's a difference. Now, if you want to do the more traditional burpee, I hope I have room here. I'll go on an angle here. But basically, you come to the ground, shoot your legs out, shoot your legs in, up. Okay? So again, you're going to do 15 of those. Next, we have mountain climbers. All right, and again, with your mountain climber, we have 30 of these. You can go back to your piece of furniture, and you can just easily lift up. Feel that crunch through your abs. Feel the pressure in your shoulders. Okay, you can also run it. can also take it to the ground. And from this position, it's almost like a push-up position, you can either do what I did on the couch and just walk it up and squeeze. You can take it to the side and do it like an oblique crunch. Or you can run it. Woohoo! All right. Next, we're going to go to the mat, or the rug in this case. Of course. And we're gonna do some push-ups. We have 25 push-ups. I don't care how you do them, as long as you have good form. So you can do the girly push-up on your knees. You can cross your ankles behind you. But you have 25. One, two, three, four, five. Or if you want to try to take them on your toes, get up on your toes. One, two, three. Okay, 25 of those. Great job. Thanks, baby. Then you have crunches. Basically, your sit up. Okay. You want to make sure that your spine, small your back, is planted firmly in the ground. Can't really see me. Can you tilt it down a little bit? Down towards me. Towards me. Okay. Hands at your temples. Elbows wide. You want to take a more advanced option. Bring your heels close to your butt. Lift them up. And crunch. Great job. Or you can also throw your arms out. So you have 50 of those. Next and last exercise of the circuit is the plank. Okay? There's a couple different options we can take for the plank. If you want to do more oblique work, you can take a side plank and you can take it on your hand like this. You can drop it to one knee like this. You can take it to your elbow and come up on your elbow with a knee, okay, as long as you're holding for 60 seconds. Or you can come to your traditional plank. Your low option would be, you can't see me that way, on your knees with your feet planted in the ground, everything tight, butt low in line with everything else, or you can take it up to your toes, keeping that butt down, everything tight. Hold it for a minute. If you think you're ready for a more advanced option, you can bring out a leg and try to shoot up 
the opposing arm. Switch sides. Okay, again for a minute. All right, guys. So that's it. So that wasn't the whole circuit. I think you can see I'm a little bit sweaty. Okay, that was good. So I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to send me an email, post if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. So thank you very much. Good night.